This is the Evinrude 4447 neutral clutch built in 1952. Here's the lower units taken apart. Here's the neutral clutch. This is the driven end from the vertical shaft. This is the slip slinky type spring. The clutch here actually when this is engaged this finger here touches the end of the slinky spring and that catches it. The drive rod here connects on here lifts it up and down. When the drive rod is down this finger on the drive rod catches the end of the slinky spring and opens up the spring and that allows uh, this to freewheel and the prop doesn't turn so that's the way it works. This particular one, this casting piece, broke off. Uh, this is part number 205115. It's rare as hen's teeth, but I did get one. Put it on. There's a little goofy spring clip here. It holds the uh, fork that goes down. This rod goes on here like this, pushes down, and engages this spring to put it into uh, neutral. Power goes on the end, other end here. Anyways, I've never seen on the net how this works. I've seen some diagrams, but uh, got some questions about how this this little clip spring goes on. But I'm really not happy with how it goes on. So we'll see if we get this working. Anyways, that's an Evinrude 447 neutral clutch from 1952 in progress of uh, a rebuild.